It's Brian Preston, the money guy. Bo, you sent out an email over the weekend to the to the content team, mm-hmm. and you said we ought to use this in a future show. And it was all these logos of all these companies we use, but none of them were in existence in 2007. This this podcast predates all of those industries, and it's unbelievable. It to was me. like Uber. I mean, it was it was it was so many of brands that we have now come to use uh-huh. on a daily basis, a weekly basis. And, and these things didn't even exist 10 years ago. So there's a great opportunity for a lot of us, especially, look, a lot of jobs just aren't the same anymore. Right. You, you know, hopefully a lot of you are getting to work from home or you're, you've got flexibility. But if you're not, I don't want you to despair. There's still ways to make money. Sure. And that's this whole gig economy or side hustling. Yep. There's something there. And I couldn't, I was shocked by this number that Daniel shared with me. Now, I will tell you. On our building a brick detail, we didn't use this number because I was like, man, I don't want to scare people no. by throwing out such a big number. But Daniel found that the average side hustle brings in eleven hundred and twenty-two dollars a month. That blew did that, did that blow your mind? That seems like a lot of money for a side gig, and that's the average. Now, okay, before you guys start doing that, oh, you guys are using averages. We went a step further. Yeah. So the median from a side hustle is around two hundred dollars a month. There we go. And I, and I was like. You know, realistically, if you were just trying to figure out how you could maybe increase your monthly savings, you've heard me talk about the value of your do- army of dollar bills. You're in your 20s. You have a little extra time. You could go probably work four or five hours a week sure. and add an extra 200 to $300 a month to your savings. This is the long-term mindset that's going to change your life. So yep. we, we threw out some examples. Uber and Lyft. Oh, that's a great... Uh, uh, it's That's... That may be one of the biggest side gig things that is available, I think, to almost everyone, so long as you have an automobile. And I think even if you don't have an automobile, they'll help you get an automobile to do that or something like that. The research, because you hear it when you ask an Uber driver, what do you make an hour? And they'll tell you all over the place, but typically it's somewhere around $15 an hour. We found from our research, after you take into account expenses, it's somewhere around $8.55 to $11.77 per hour. So around $10. But if you think about, you know, sitting around doing nothing or, you know, after you factor in all the expenses, going to make $10 per hour doesn't sound crazy just for kind of driving around. So there's probably a group of people right now because we are post or during the pandemic, they're like sure. somebody riding, strangers riding around in my car <laughs> seems less it. than ideal. There's still, <laughs> there's still other side hustles you can do. Like think about this: Uber Eats, Instacart, mm-hmm. these things where you're going and picking up food for people or picking up groceries sure. for people. They also average about ten dollars an hour That's from great. going out there and doing the work. All these things create opportunity. They also here's the thing: maybe you are already maxing out your Roth IRA. Mm-hmm. Maybe you are already maxing out your employer plan at work to get the match. Sure. And you're saying, well, are there other opportunities? Yeah. When you do these side hustles, you also qualify for like SEP IRAs. You yep. can do you can do qual you know some some beneficial retirement savings. There is all kind of benefit on here. We even put together some resources. Now look, this is where I felt old because I like when we went to when we talk about the other thing, I'd heard of gazelle.com. Uh-huh. I'd of course used eBay, but this section was alien territory. <laughs> so I'm going to rely on this was a Reby and Daniel collaboration. So let me give out a few of these Upwork. Okay, great. Freelancing is what they put next to it. We'll go with that. Fiverr. The wild west of hiring people. So I think the way that this works is like, oh, I need my gutters cleaned. Or, oh, I have a project at the house that I can't do myself or I need a specialist. You can go into Fiverr and you can pay somebody to come like a handyman to come do that. Am I saying that right, Reeves? Is that kind of like tackle? Ah, oh, tackle's another one. That's a, That didn't even make the list. Look at you, old dog. They got Kathy Lee. <laughs> you know, she, she's practically a neighbor. I saw her for the first time um, a few weeks Dude, back. She though. power walks Franklin all the time. I like I like me some Kathy Lee. So my <laughs> wife even likes her more. But um, we so we like having her around town. Um, Rover Pet Care. Yep. If you want to go walk, walk dogs or pet sit, there's an app for that. And this one just cracks me up saying it out loud. Task Rabbit. That, that and, one I didn't know. Yeah, we have no idea what that is. And then here's something Daniel threw out because and I and I'm paying this right now my, myself. Teaching and tutoring. There's mm-hmm. a great opportunity right now for side hustling as a tutor. Um, I have my daughter. She's preparing for the ACT, so we've got her doing virtual ACT prep right awesome. now online. Um, Daniel threw out this website, VIP Kids, if you want to go okay. be a teacher 
and, and do some tutoring. So there's all kind of opportunities on that. And then he also threw out the idea of content creation. Yeah, this is one that's kind of near and dear to our heart because accidentally content creation is what this thing was born out of. Well, now it's become so prevalent. Technology's changed the world so much that, yeah, you can go out there and you can write blog articles. You can ghostwrite. You can do videos. You can freelance videos. There's all kinds of ways out there that in your spare time, you can add to the internet of knowledge and be a resource for folks out there. So I watched this weekend, I watched that Tom Brady, Phil the Mickelson, golf yeah. Tiger Woods, and um, of course Peyton Manning, who seems like he should be my best friend now after finding out how <laughs> funny he is. But it was interesting is that while I'm sitting there, I had a neighbor, we had a few neighbors over watching it with us. And um, one of them says, hey, did you hear that, they, that Tom Brady had this charity online experience auction that a 25-year-old paid over $800,000 to do a Tom Brady experience. And he's like, do you know what that guy does for a living? He's a YouTube personality. And I was like, so he sent me an article. Sure enough, it's a, so your, your side gig, your online side gig, could turn into your main could gig. Could turn into your main gig if you have the right things going for you to where you too could be hanging out with Tom Brady and paying $800,000 to hang out with him with the right amount of money coming in. But even if you're not the Tom Brady experience kind of guy and you think about the bricks that you're laying, even if we went with the low conservative number, we think that a side gig realistically could produce for you probably $2,400 a year or $200 a month with a side hustle. So we have laid out, I mean, we should. I should have probably put a number on these. We got one, two, three, four, five, six different i look at reby laughing and she's she like just, this is the first time you counted them our fingers so, <laughs> so you can see we have six ideas here on how you can make extra money but i want to go a step further sure. with i think that there is a big picture teachable moment from this we've already talked about it how do you have an empire mindset so you make little fundamental changes in your financial life that have tremendous long-term benefits we opened the show today talking about a Will Smith quote where he talked about this brick wall that he mm -hmm. built with his brother one brick at a time for a year and a half. He'd yep. come home from school, start putting a brick on the wall, and he said he wasn't thinking about the wall because the thought of building the wall was overwhelming, but he laid one brick. He made sure he laid each brick the best way it possibly could be laid, and then before he knew it, a year and a half later it turned into a full, big, beautiful wall. And that's how financial independence is built. And we wanted to kind of, this is the mindset you have to have. But if you bring all of these different things together, Bo, what is this total? So the total is an annual savings of $6,728. And what I think is so remarkable about that is we just said that the average, you know, individual, you know, in the country makes around 50000 or if you double that for couples, mm -hmm. it's $100,000. This is a substantial sum of money. This yeah. is a lot of money. This is 5 to 10% of your annual income. Really, really exciting when you think about how valuable this could be on just a one-year basis. Yeah, this is just the tip of the iceberg. This is the fundamental brick. But what does the wall look like? If you've laid your brick... But you do this brick year over year. You add those bricks together. What does the wall look like, Bo? So you can save $6,728 extra every year from now until retirement. Because every one of these things is savings annually. It's not just a one-time thing. You can actually save this money every single year. Well, after 30 years, you will have saved $201,840, which in and of itself, pretty amazing. $200,000 just by taking one little extra step. But if you are that true financial mutant and you say, you know what, I'm going to go put that money to work. And you're a 35-year-old and we think that you can make on average about 8.5% per year investing those dollars. That $201,000 will grow into $835,000. That number is, I mean, here's the thing. You, it needs to have some perspective. Because when I see that, I'm like, that is incredible. So just from a few small behavioral changes in my life, I could have the equivalent of $40,000 a year perpetually right. in retirement. I could essentially create my own pension. Here's another observation. This came from Raw Dog out there in Money Guy Family Land. He said when, when we were doing the live stream, he said, guys, that number, 6,728, is so close to the annual Roth contribution. 
Think about if that eight hundred thirty-five thousand dollars is tax-free. Be huge. I mean, this this is the mindset. I want you to know: little bricks can build tremendous financial walls for you in the long term, and it's so powerful. And this is the thing I get. I remember when I first started saving when I was in my twenties. It it took forever. It feels like to break a hundred thousand dollars. I remember it felt like. Man, am I ever going to, you know, because we want to be wealthy. We want to reach seven-figure status. But just getting to $100,000 seems like the mark is moving against you, especially when you go through a downturn. Of course. Because, you you know, I can still remember because I've been doing some show prep on some other things we're working on. Four years into working, all my my savings, it equaled up to about $40,000 of market value. Mm -hmm. I then remember... Taking the dot com collapse, it my forty turned into twenty eight thousand, mm-hmm. and I remember going, "Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm never, never going gonna to have there. money." And I missed out on that great bull market of the nineties. This thing seems like it's moving against me. Now I look back and I go, "Wow, a little turns into a lot if you will just stay, keep on course, keep the behavior going, put your foot before the next foot, the other foot, keep walking forward, keep laying bricks." This thing is powerful in the long term. Yeah, I, I think that's what was so amazing to me about this. And we almost got to a million bucks. I mean, it was like 800 something thousand. We almost got to a million without doing anything remarkable, without doing anything life changing, without becoming some celebrity, without signing some huge contract, just taking very small steps to get to financial independence. And one of the things that we're going to commit to doing for you guys is we're going to help you continue to take those steps. If you haven't had a chance to go out to our website yet, you can go to moneyguide.com, click on the resource page. We have resources out there available for you. We've got PDFs and spreadsheets and worksheets, and it's all free. All you have to do is go out there, download it. You can use it, tape it to your mirror, and begin laying your bricks day by day to build a financial independence. Yeah. And we, by the way, we could have easily pushed this over a million dollars. We started at 35. We could have done 25. Sure. We could have done 30. We want to be realistic, though, because we know our average YouTube audience is somewhere, our, our biggest, we get to see who's watching us, 25 to 45-year-olds. So we chose right in the middle at 35. We also can see, by the way, that the majority of you aren't part of the Money Guy family. You're watching our content, but you're not subscribing <laughs> to it. You haven't rung the bell to get notifications. Guys, Go out there, join the family, subscribe to the actual channel. We are at sixty, close to 63,000. I have the ambitious goal of being at 100,000 yep. by year end. Not going to happen. This pandemic is going to ruin my goal unless you go tell your friends and families, subscribe to The Money Guy Show. That's how we're going to keep making a difference. Thank you for all the emails, the well wishes. We're going to keep stacking bricks for you guys so you can keep building your financial empires and make those walls as big, beautiful, and prosperous as possible. I'm your host, Brian Preston, Mr. Bo Hansen, Money Guy Team, out.